Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be my foundation routine. This is pretty much what I do on a daily basis. Um, I do kind of switch out my foundations every other day. Um, I have a lot of foundations, so I like to just try different ones. But the one that I'm using today is pretty much what I stick to normally. Um, so... Yeah, so I'm going to pretty much do my foundation, my bronzer, all that good stuff, and then I'll go ahead and do my eyes at the end. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie my hair back, because my hair is pretty long, and I don't want it to get in my face when I'm doing this. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my face. I've already moisturized my face um, about 30 minutes ago when I got out of the shower, and I used my um, Origin, Origin Budazing. A moisturizer which I love um, so I use that and then I'm gonna prime my face using the found Laura Mercier foundation primer the oil free I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger just about that much and just kind of rub it in So my face is primed, so I'm going to go ahead and go right into the uh, my foundation. So I'm pretty light right now. I, I don't have much of a tan, um, which is really odd because it's the summertime, but I just haven't been laying out that much. And um, Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix two foundations. Um, I'm going to mix the Maybelline 20, uh, the Super Stay Makeup, and then I'm going to use a little bit of my Studio Fix Fluid, and this is an NW24. Five. So this is a little bit dark for me to wear on its own, so I'll mix it with my lighter foundations. But I really, really do love the Studio Fix Fluid. I think it looks the best on my skin. A lot of people say it breaks them out, but I really like it. I just think it looks really beautiful, and it stays all day. And So I'm pretty much just going to mix those two. So I'm going to put a little bit of the Super Stay on the back of my hand, so just about that much. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the um, Studio Fix Fluid, just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my, um, my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki brush, and I'm just going to use the back of that and just kind of swirl it around and mix that up. Not really too glamorous, the back of my hand, that's what I always do. Okay, so I'm just going to put that and just go ahead and just stipple it on my entire face. I, um, I start with my cheeks and then I kind of work outward, but I always stipple first because I really need to get, I have a lot of problem areas, so I really need to get those really good. So, um, yeah, so I just kind of stipple. And um, some people like to do their concealer first. I typically always do it second. Um, just because, I don't know. I've tried it both ways and I always like to do it second. Ah! My earring is going to fall out. Okay. Make sure you bring it down to your neck, obviously. And I'm pretty pale so I don't want to make sure I have a freaking white neck and a you know orange whatever face okay so after I have that pretty much stippled in I go ahead and I start buffing it Whew. It's totally like gives me a workout it's so hot here I swear pretty much buffed in okay so that's pretty much done what I'll do sometimes is I'll kind of go over with a little bit more and just kind of buff right right on my cheeks is 
where I have um, the most issues. I had a lot of um, discoloration just from like acne scars. So I'll just take a little bit of that foundation and just kind of re buff right there. But we'll also go over that with concealer as well. Okay. So that's done. So the next thing I do is I go on to concealing and for that I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown for under the eyes and this is the Bobbi Brown, um, sh this is just the with the powder underneath that comes in the little kit. I got this at a CCO um, so I, I'm sure they sell it at counters. It's just the normal concealer with the loose powder underneath. So pretty much and my color, my shade is in warm ivory. So. This is a really creamy, really, really great concealer. So I just go ahead and I just pat that under my eyes. And the other eye. I also switch out concealers a lot too. Um, but I've used the Bobbi Brown for a while now and I really like it. I think it stays really well. It doesn't cake up. It looks really nice. It goes on really nice and, <coughs> sorry, I really like it. And so, and then I'll just use the bottom underneath like loose powder. I'll use like a MAC, or this is a Sigma. This is a 224, SS224. It's the old numbering. I don't know what the new numbering is, but. I'll just take a little bit of that powder on my brush and just go right underneath. I have been using, before I got this, I was using the Benefit Powder Flash and I just don't know, I just don't, I don't love that product and a lot of people like it but it just wasn't giving me that like under eye brightness that I want so, so that's pretty much, um, what I all I do for my under eyes. So as far as spot concealing, just you can see if you can't tell I have um, a few spots that I like to hide and for that I always use my um, MAC Studio Finish Concealer and this is an NW25. And then I'm going to use, um, this is just a brush by Samantha Chapman, it's just one of her um, little smudgy brushes. So I just use that and I just go and I just kind of conceal, ah, this has eyeshadow on it. Okay, so I just kind of go in and I conceal what I want to conceal. And I always, I always do it around my nose because I have redness right there. So that's pretty much done. So last thing I do is I go ahead and I just set my whole face. And I use my MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. And I'm just going to use a large powder brush. And this is just by Sigma. It's their um, 150 brush, their big one. And I just go ahead and I just kind of, I try not to like, you know, go like that because I don't want to move my foundation around a lot. So I just kind of pat this all over all right so there you go okay so moving on to bronzer um, I'm gonna be using the Mac loose bronzer and this is in golden bronze and I just take whatever's on the cap because this this will last you forever. So I just kind of open it and I just use the cap and I just use um, this is a brush by Sonia Kashik. It's just like they're one of their her powder brushes, and I just kind of swirl it in the cap, kind of shake it off, and I just like put that kind of all over. I use this bronzer all over my face, especially now since I have absolutely no color whatsoever. Um, the hair. 
So yeah, so I just kind of hit my cheeks, hit my nose, hit my chin, and then I make sure that I always bring it down my neck. And then I'm going to contour just a little bit. Now, I don't contour every day, but um, I usually do. But I'm going to go ahead and contour today. So I'm going to use my um, Huma by Benefit. And I'm going to use my MAC 109 brush. And just kind of swirl it in there. Kind of tap off. And I start pretty much here, and I don't bring it past here because I've done that where it's been down here and it just looks really bad so what I do is I kind of just make that suck in my cheeks and just start at my temple well right below my temple and just kind of work it right into that groove and then I kind of bring it up onto my forehead a little bit I do my nose and my chin. So not very much. I don't do very much at all, but just a little bit just really adds a lot to the look. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So like I said, just kind of start where your hairline is and just kind of So there you go. So contouring is done. Okay, moving on to highlight. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown um, Shimmer Brick, and this is in Pink Quartz. This is what it looks like. It's really, really, really beautiful. I love this bra or this highlighter. And I'm going to go ahead and use just a brush by Sonia Kashuk, and that's just a little small brush. And I'm going to swirl it around in that highlighter and just put it right on the tops of my cheekbones. Kind of bring it up onto my temples just a little bit. Hit my cupid's bow. So you can see it just really picks up the light really, really beautifully. I love this highlighter. It stays a long time and it's just, it's just really, really pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, so that is pretty much um, my whole face. That's what I do on a daily basis. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes real quick, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished look. Hey guys, okay, so here's the finished look, and I just realized that I did not do my blush in the uh, last part of this video. So um, the blush that I use um, is NARS Sin, and this is what I have on right now. And I just use like this brush I got from the drugstore. It's actually a really great brush, and um, I don't remember the name of it, but I just use this, and I just kind of do that cheesy smile, you know, and just put that right on the apples of my cheeks. And yeah, so this is the finished look. This is, and I just had a, I just did a simple um, brown eye using just uh, I think I used satin taupe in there, a bunch, um, eyeshadow by NYX. Just a really simple eye with some brown eyeliner, and yeah, so this is my everyday foundation routine. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!